Hello, hello, Mom and Dad Meat World. So right behind me is Dozo, and you can see where those couple people are at. And uh, this is a place that I've actually always wanted to try. Beautiful view over here. And it actually has a view overlooking the Tom McCall Waterfront Park and Tillicum Crossing back there. Yeah, really beautiful area of the city. We are over here on the waterfront side of Portland, Oregon. And uh, yeah, come check out dough zone and some of the food they have if you are in the mood especially for bao buns dumplings these little soup dumplings yeah that's what they're kind of known for almost like a din tai fung again uh, portland oregon they're just not one by us and in our area but uh, come check out dough zone right behind us scan this right here for the menu and then you fill out the paperwork right here that's so you can put your order in and you can see here take a look super high ceilings intricate details with the lights and they've only got about half the restaurant open so look at their house special soup dumplings, their bao buns, pan fried dumplings, boiled dumplings, steamed dumplings. Look at that appetizer. A little bit of an odd one right there in the braised pig ear. Hmm, might be very good. We don't know. Right. What is this? Passion fruit green tea. All right, so this passion fruit green tea is really, really good. Lots of flavor. Actually, it looks like it's gonna be watered down, but it's actually just packed full of flavor. Uh, my daughter described it as one of those little jelly cups, and uh, yeah, I think so. Very much so, that type of flavor. A very, very These are the soup dumplings. You could look at the steam coming right off of them. Here are the Dan Dan noodles. So Dan Square. Could you have a soup dumpling? Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Very nice. You can see the steam coming off of it. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at the bottom there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We like that. Is it good? It's good. So look at the center of that. You can see the soup right there. And that pork filling. Oh, some crab also? Yeah. Oh yeah. Pork and crab. Who knew that would be a combo? Either. Take a look. Here are the Dan Dan noodles. Give me a thumbs up. It's as good as it looks. So it's thick. Very, 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 very thick and viscous here. Uh, warm, spicy. Nice level of spice. There's a really thick sauce that's coating these noodles. That's really, really filling. Very, very good. So here are the must try of the menu. These are the pan fried pork buns. Look how beautiful they look. Very, very pretty. But look at this. This is the spicy beef sandwich. Look at that. Look at the bao bun. Beautiful. Look at the meat in there, the shreds of meat. Looks very, very pretty. Oops. Losing my finger in here. Oh, look at that. Look at the bottom. Very, very beautiful. A little bit because of the meat. Definitely. There is a little bit of soup in there. Look at that. Okay, look at that. You got the ball of meat right in there. Looks super juicy. Super juicy. <laughs> look at that. Wait, you got the spicy Look at that meat right in there. Looks super juicy. Very, very good. Mm, so good. We just now discovered this. That's there so are good. instructions on the back of these chopsticks on how yes. to eat a That's soup so cool. dumpling. There you go. Look at the pickle right here, the beef, the lettuce. It's sour, spicy. 
the bun is super duper soft. Very, very soft. It's got some heat to it. But yeah, you've got some kick of the uh, that pickle right there. Really, really gives it that acidity, but and that sourness. But it's very, very good. You know, you want our bite. Almost like a corned beef with yeah. a little bit of that sourness. So this is the banana naan bread, and that looks like some whipped cream right there. Never like had banana naan, but it looks very, very good. I'm actually going to grab one here. Looks like they cut it out with like banana, fried bananas, made, bread made out of bananas. So feels very thin, almost like a crepe, with a nice brown to it. I had it like yeah, cheesy or, you know, with uh, chives. Yeah, it seems like garlic. So it is a bit sweet, not overly sweet, not too bad at all. I'm going to actually dip a little bit of whipped cream. Everything is super hot. The whipped cream elevates it. Very, very good. Thin. A little bit on the oily side. Very oily, but it's very rich. Good banana flavor. I definitely have it again. Probably one of my favorites of all the food we had. So this whole meal here with everything you saw cost about $75 with hot green tea and that cold passion fruit drink. So overall, not too bad. And uh, hopefully if you enjoyed this, you know what to do. Please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps out our channel. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.